that we can understand because society again is like one man that has 613 organs and then I can understand society I can feel it and actually when I feel society I feel the creator gradually in a way that becomes more and more true and that's how we advance that's why a person sells the beams of his house meaning that he comes out of his constant home goes into his temporary home meaning that he exchanges his ego's control with the society's control my group let's say can I if a person wants to change the influence of society on him so Rav, no, no, not erase it that's why I said to start with we have to see in what way we can combine the two in the optimum way if I let go of one edge I can hold on to the other one to be under the control of the creator only it's not good then you're an angel you don't why did he give birth to you Niv. so what do we say to blend in society to annul Rav to annul his criticism his criticism I want to annul in society my will to receive doesn't disappear doesn't clear he's under my control meaning under the Tzimtzum and the Masach and then specifically above it with its help with the reflected light that I can establish with my will to receive with my ego that I work against the ego then I can stabilize that reflected light and in that I reveal the creator meaning the anti-ego that means that the creator that Pharaoh brings the people of Israel closer to the Creator. With, with his help, I do it. That's why, what's up with Moses? He grew up in Pharaoh's home. He came out of there. And we don't let go. It's to such an extent that the Jews called him the Egyptian, you know, on purpose. As sometimes you say about a person that he's a goy, that to emphasize that as if he disregards being in unity. That addition just increases the quality. So we don't let go. We don't have vessels if we won't use our will to receive. When they say we don't leave the world to receive, do we talk about the spies, the criticism? Yes, yeah, of course. Meaning annulling the world to receive means that I am opening my eyes. I know what I'm annulling. I'm annulling it and it is in my box there. And I know that upon it I will now go and attain the will to bestow and I can establish the connection between my egoistic desire to my will to bestow in such a way that the darkness will shine as light there has to be some balance every time a certain balance between this and that and then I'm like on a seesaw you know I'm I make sure that... But when darkness shines as light, does it mean that the will to receive is cancelled? No, it adds the burning, as we learned. Like in the candle that, that worked with the, the oil and the light. So can we say that one of the characteristics of being between the society and the will to receive is that I don't want it to be cancelled? We have to keep it. We have to keep it. We have to make sure that we don't disconnect from it. 
everything still is based on the will to receive. That you are caught a man, a giver, that you overcome it and keep it. And you know how you activate it and manage it with a strong, with your mind, with your in control. That's called rejection, resistance, greatness. Hey, well, that's where you get exertion. It's all the will to receive. Where is that written about the angels or something that they saw the will to receive and they understood that creation can exist?